Hi guys, it's me again. <laughs> Hope you've had a really good and productive week. So in Emilyville, it's been pretty busy. I'm getting ready to go on tour. So I've been doing lots of prep work, trying to tie up all the loose ends and see everyone before I go, because once I leave town, it'll be a while before I get back. So whilst I was catching up with all my friends, I got to catch up with my brother, Gavin, who is just phenomenal. He's a producer, singer, songwriter, performer, musician. He's just great. And I credit him as the person who got me into this whole music game. Um, you always need someone to champion you and bring you in and he's that person for me. So it was great to talk to him and just get what's going on with him. So check it out guys. So I'm in the studio with man like G Holligan. <laughs> uh, now this is my brother Gavin. <clears throat> so we're in the studio, uh, in your studio. Mm. How are you? I'm good. I'm a bit tired. Okay. I had a gig last night. Which I can take this as it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, the reason why I've called my brother is because he is obviously my brother. And he is... <laughs> <laughs> he's a musician. He's a songwriter, he's a singer, he's a producer. He's just pretty much everything, really. Mixing. Yeah. You do a lot. I do a few things. Yeah. yeah, and you do them very well. Thank you. I thought it only best for people to see where my musical inspiration comes from because in a previous video I credited you as part of the reason. In fact, probably 90% of the reason why I'm even doing this career. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what motivated you to get to where you are now? What what was the inspiration? How did you even become a musician? Why are you still doing it? I think um, music has always been in me. Yeah. A part of me, a part of my world. Yeah. So um, having the opportunity to like be a musician or an artist or right. a producer is is kind of a privilege right. for me right um, because I have an affinity with the world of music and its role in our everyday life right you know it's an amazing way to express who we are and what we feel mm. on a day by day basis so um, it's kind of like a natural way of life mm. And I, I'm just fortunate enough to be able to do it um, most of my time. <laughs> do you love music? Do you love it? Mm. Do you adore it? As in, if you if it was taken from you, would you? How would you feel about that? That's a really good question. I think having done um, life for so long with music mm. is automatically mm. going to be a yes. Yeah. However, I think there's validity in that question in that sometimes you're forced to do things in this um, industry that probably doesn't really make you feel so great. Mm. I think when I was um, actually when I was playing football mm. as a kid, he used to play for West Ham, guys. His sh look, we're in the studio, and his shirt, his actual shirt, is on the wall. Hold on, let me show you. That's how real it is. Look, there's his shirt, number forty, with the surname Holligan on it. It's, it's real. True. That's it's the actual true. shirt you used, right? Yeah, that was one I wore at Anfield. Anfield. When I when I played uh, for West Ham. He used so, to play for West Ham, guys. Fond memories. Real deal. Yeah. And we'd have a bad game, or I'd lose, or I should have scored, or something like that. I would actually come home and play the piano. Right. After the game, before dinner. Right. I'd just play the piano. Yeah. And muck around. And when we won, and we had a great game, and I scored, I'd play the piano. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of realised later on in life that um, some ways music has been an outlet for me to do life right like it's been a way to express right the highs and lows yeah. and the in-betweens yeah. of what was going on in my world and and i guess now as i'm becoming um uh, a 
because I'm recording mm. this um, record that I've been working on. I've realised that I've always done that. Yeah. I've always done that. I've always kind of used music as a vehicle to open up. Right. So, yeah, I do love music. Yeah. You were a professional footballer. Mm -hmm. What happened? Why, why are you now a musician? Because everybody has the right to chase their dreams. And your dream was not to be a footballer? No, I, I, I did it and I loved it and, and it was great. So I think I just had to basically be honest and, um, and that transition got made. And now you're I've a full time not, musician. Not, <laughs> yeah, I love yeah, that. I've not regretted it really. Like a lot of people say, oh, do you miss football? Do you miss the game and stuff? I do occasionally miss um, some things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I miss some things, and, and, and it was a great experience. It taught me a lot. Uh, taught me a, a lot about myself, mm. a lot about life, mm. about the world. Mm. Um, so I, I think it was nice to have that backdrop moving out um, of something so big into something so big. big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, unfortunately, um, music as a career is not something you can ever prepare for. Mm. But I think if you could prepare for it, football would be a good preparation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the, the worlds are very, very um, similar, but they're, they're not alike. Um, I know you to be somebody who prefers to work in your own zone, as in, like, you're very focused and tunnel vid visioned when you're producing, when you're writing, when you're working. How does that compare to how other people work, and has it hindered you has it helped you I don't know I I don't know if it's helped me or hindered me I mean I've become used to adapting and and, and kind of adjusting when I'm working with different people mm. I think people generally when especially when you when I'm when I'm doing something as a role for example mixing or producing yeah. people want to know that it's going to be good yeah they want to know that it's going to be um, on time, yeah, and and all the other things that come come along with the the package. But I I try my best to um, facilitate their needs, yeah, and that's why I'm perhaps quite intense. Yeah, I think music is is one of those things where you can't you can't uh, it, it's not supposed to just wash over your head. Yeah, so if it does wash over your head, it's not really. Um, doing its job. So who were some of your musical influences? Apart from you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely all of the Motown greats. Yeah. Um, so your, your, your Stevie's. You look like him. Yeah, I keep hearing that. <laughs> it's cool. I'll wear it. Yeah. Donny Hathaway's, Marvin Gaye's, Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. Definitely massive impact. Sting, I'm I'm a big admirer of Sting. Uh, Are you talking from an artist perspective or or a production? Oh. How, how do you look at it when you say when I say <coughs> who of your musical influences? Because obviously you play, mm. and there's that element, the production, the the backstage stuff. Yeah. And then you've got the people who are on stage. Because I I always think of you as having two different heads. Mm. Um, one because you're an artist in your mm. own right and two because you're a producer and they're very different world they're worlds apart yeah so those people that you're saying influence you are you talking from a artist perspective or are you talking from a music and production perspective I think when I think back to when I used to consume certain um, music and um, records and artists I wasn't thinking about them from a personal like creative perspective right. I was just experiencing the moment they shared right and I mm. fell in love with things about their music or things about their performances their artistry that just basically reached where I was at and who I who, who I felt they were communicating about mm. themselves mm -mm. Uh, whether it was a lyric or whether it was a vocal performance or an arrangement yeah I mean, no one, I, I kind of, when I'm mixing, I, I, I kind of always try to respect the 
the intent of the artist, the producer. Right. No one listens to a track and focuses on, well, is this mixed properly? Is this mixed right? Is the balance correct? Yeah. They either feel it or they don't. Yeah. They either enjoy the, the moment or they don't. So I don't know necessarily how a lot of the stuff was created or some of the thought process behind yeah, yeah, yeah. the performances, but I either, I either respond or I don't. And there are certain things that I've realised, you know, in terms of production values, there are certain things that are consistent. Yeah. There's no one, no one's ever going to be disappointed by a groove. Yeah. <laughs> a strong, a strong rhythm track. Yeah. If a bass line is really thumping, no yeah. one's going to, no one's going to complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. If a vocal arrangement is tidy, no one's ever going to get the hump. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, there, there are certain things that you can, you can pinpoint and go, okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I, when I'm listening, I'm just trying to feel the moment. Right. And enjoy it. So people like Bob Marley, who are not as technically um, gifted as someone like Stevie Wonder, for example, mm -hmm. who is a genius mm -hmm. in his own right, mm -hmm. or Prince mm -hmm. or someone, but they still create that magic. Sting is another one. Mm. Uh, or Kim Burrell, for example. Uh, I love Kim Burrell's uh, ability to um, express herself vocally yeah. and musically yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, but it's completely different to someone like, I don't know, over recent years, Coldplay, who moved me just as much. Lastly, if you were to talk about your journey to somebody who is embarking on something like this, i.e. wants to start a career in music, yeah. i.e. wants to be an artist. Because yeah. you also went to the Brit School. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. that was like, I guess, obviously the beginning of the official movement. Not the Gavin Hollywood. No, but I got an A star. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what would you say to people who are embarking or would like to embark on the journey, had not quite sure yet, and would like to hear the perspective of someone who's further down the road? If you're a creative, learn the business. If you're a business head, learn the creative world. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of understand what makes them tick, mm -hmm. how to communicate with them. Uh, you know, don't judge yourself on someone else's highlights. Yeah. It's, it's stupid. Yeah. It's it's unfair for everyone to kind of get into that state of mind where you're kind of putting yourself down because you don't match up to someone else's stuff. Best bits, yeah. You know, because you don't know what's happened mm. before for them to get to that point mm. you know people some people don't find their zone till album number three four and then it's like oh this is their greatest work you know writing is like any other skill if you don't practice it how do you expect for it to improve mm. so you, you you've got to write uh, you've got to write 10 crap ones before you get to the 11th for okay one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, who's the latest one? Sia. Sia's, I mean, Sia's seven albums in now. Yeah. This is, and people are kind of like seeing her on top of the world at the moment, or I guess last year she yeah. had, you know, a lot of love. I take my hat off to people that can actually go the miles. Yeah. You know, go the miles and see it through to the point where people start going, actually, yeah. This is really nice. Yeah. It's so good to talk to you. Oh, it's so good to be I talk. mean, I know, I, I talk to you all the time, <laughs> but not like this. Yeah. It's a great feeling to have siblings and family members who get what you do, because not everybody does. No. And especially when somebody like your brother pioneers your career, it's kind of like, it's a big deal, man. Wow. It's a big deal. Wow. It's been an honour and a privilege. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I am so privileged that I have a brother who is so phenomenal and so invested in what I do. So I wanna hear your story. What's your musical story? Post in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our videos. We also post exclusive content on social media. So make sure you follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Google+, on Facebook, The Works. Information is on the screen now. All that remains for me to say is have an amazing week week guys and I'll see you when I'm on tour. Bye!